Thank you. And they're wanting to know if they're bad at explaining the five ways because they feel like they understand it, but whenever they explain it, people seem to be unconvinced. So <laughs> they want to know what you guys' experience is. All right, so the question is, am I just bad at explaining the five ways because when I explain them, I feel convinced, but other people don't? Uh, well, that's, that's a tough question. Um, you may be great at explaining, and the people you're explaining it to may just be stupid. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> Uh, or you may be stupid and think you're very good at explaining <laughs> something that you think you understand and don't. Um, that's no, that's that's a that's a difficult <clears throat> question. Um, I wouldn't begin with the five ways, honestly. No. I'd begin with like a honestly like a Kalam argument or um, an experiential argument. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, I know that doesn't convince other people, right? I, yeah, I mean, it depends on on your audience, really, right? Uh, some people, for some people, a yeah, an experiential argument may be just what they need. We were talking about this a bit at the beginning, and for other people, that's too subjective, right? They they want something more. They want a more robust argument. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you were arguing with, with someone like say Richard Dawkins, he doesn't want he doesn't want religious experience, right? He wants something that is rigorous. Right, but if you're, you'd but think I'm, so. But if you take a take a look, <laughs> take a look at his pathetic yeah, okay, summary okay, of the five okay, ways. No, you're no, right. No, I know you're what right. you mean. That's true. That's true. I, I feel bad for yeah. atheists because they have him as their spokesperson. <laughs> there's, there's much more brilliant people than that guy, um, who's brilliant, no doubt. Yeah, but right. when he's, I mean, he doesn't no, even understand right. the anyway. No, it's yeah, it is sad. Uh, yeah, no, I find him really hard to to. I, for those who are interested, I wrote a book with Robert Delfino called "Does God Exist: A Socratic Dialogue on the Five Ways of Thomas Aquinas," and uh, it's a it's basically a story. About about an atheist and a Catholic who meet in a coffee shop and over the course of two weeks go back and forth on the five ways. It's on Amazon. If you want to get it, you can. So that, that could be helpful. That leads um, into our next question. Next question! Uh, best introductory book for Thomistic thinking, best one for just philosophy in general for the regular Joe, and then any uh, online courses to point you Ooh, so, yeah, I think they probably heard you. I'll stop repeating you. Um, Best um, book for Thomistic thinking, I think. Oh. There, there, there are t well, there's two that come immediately to mind. I would say Ed Fazer's uh, book, um, Thomistic Metaphysics. I think it's called. Or, no, not no. not his. I would say the his Aquinas it, 101. It, what is? It? I'll stop. I'll stop guessing what you're going to say and just let you speak. <laughs> I'm thinking think it, Francis Selman's Aquinas 101 is okay. brilliant. Okay, but right. I know what you, I think. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, um, it's. I think it's Aquinas for beginners. That's it. Um, yeah, that's that's, it. Uh, that's an excellent book. Phaser, yeah. Uh, it's clear. Uh, it's it's not it's not not at all watered down. It's 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 very clear, and, and I think anyone that you know has. Uh, a uh, sufficient, you know, decent education. You don't have to have had a philosophical education, but you know, a, a decent education. You can work your way through it and and understand Aquinas. Um, and I would say um, uh, Brian Davis's book, uh, which is just I think called Aquinas. It's published by Continuum, I believe. Um, but. You had also had some that you yeah. Were... Francis Selman wrote okay. a book called Aquinas One Hundred One, and it, okay. it, I couldn't believe how fantastically helpful I found it. Um, there's that one. I love uh, Joseph Pieper's book on Aquinas. Oh yeah, right. The the guide to Aquinas. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. That's that's a, that's very historical. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it talks about Aquinas in his context, like the but threat is, of Islam, is nice. Aristotle, yeah. and and then uh, I the, just speaking of Dawkins and Phaser. Dawkins says of Phaser that no, Phaser says of Dawkins that he wouldn't know metaphysics from Metamucil. <laughs> Next question. <laughs>